Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, I believe that we're feeding through to the folks out there. Let me, um, you've been warned, Marge Ture. You've been warned. Okay, listen, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to me first. Here, uh, while we're waiting for confirmation from everyone out there that our audio and all that kind of stuff is uh, is going through <laughs> properly, please, please smash the thumbs up, share this video with your friends. We've got Marge Teray here the whole two hours. He's going to answer all questions, hopefully, here. Um, uh, also, go to HankStrange.com, sign up for our email list. That's the, uh, the best way for you to support us out there. You can... On the website, you guys will be able to get your hands on the Hank, some Hank Strange patches. You know, Lola's always throwing up deals and things like that. And if you shop through those links, you help support us. So uh, thanks in advance for everyone that does that. If you want to get some uh, t-shirts and things like that, our stuff is at Ballistic Inc. So you can go to that site. There's lots of other shirts there. And you can get the ones specifically designed for us as well in our shop. And there's a whole bunch of other dudes and dudettes up on there that you guys uh, can get stuff from. They're selling backpacks and uh, sunglasses and watches and all other kinds of cool stuff over there. All right, so all of that said, I am going to, uh, I'm gonna actually press the open button here on the show. Let's get it going. Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation. Boom! Lifestyle. Make sure you guys subscribe, smash the thumbs ups, ring the bell so you can be notified. My uh, special guest tonight, live for the whole two hours, is Maj Ture. Uh, he's here. He knows he has to do jazz hands. Let's do it. I know. We're going to have a serious conversation, but we got to start off with the jazz hands. Boom. There you go. All right. I hope you guys have your big girl panties on. Uh, this is episode 622 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. Like I said, our guest is uh, Maj Ture. The title is Maj Ture Retiring from Public Life. In 2022, question mark, question mark, question mark, exclamation, you know, WTF, all that kind of stuff. Big shout out to Harry's Holsters that's sponsoring the uh, podcast tonight. You can uh, you can get 10% off from Harry's Holsters by using the code HEXTRANGE. Shout out to, uh, to, to Harrison out there. Okay, Maj, what's up? What's up, Hank? How are you? Um, I'm, wait, good. So, I'm good. Wait. I'm good. So y'all know that we... I don't have a gun in my hand because YouTube watches. Right. So I can't show a firearm. No, you cannot. You cannot. That's it's crazy. a. This has been a rule on YouTube when YouTube goes, uh, when you go live since the beginning of this year. That's corny. It's it. You know, it is what it is, man. They've they've gone after us a couple of times here while we were live on air. So you know, it's. it's so I got a couple on. guns. I, I can't. You know, I didn't no, know man. if this. No, um, no. Can I? So I'm gonna drink. Am I allowed to drink on Yeah, you could drink. You could smoke. You know. <laughs> Yo, when we was in Florida last, year, you wouldn't uh-huh. have any of this. Uh, I'm not a real. I'm not a big drinker. So. Listen. Yeah. Hey, what is this? What are you? Uh, this is this is a hunt. Re- I don't know if y'all can read that. Can yeah. you read the proof? Here? The proof. Let's see. Uh, sixty-three point. No, under that. Under that? No. Back up a little. 126 proof. Okay, 126. Yeah. Oh. This is aged six years, four months, and 21 days. Wow, okay. This is, this is Booker's bourbon. Booker's straight bourbon. from the crate into the barrel. Booker's bourbon does not give me a check. I just really like it. their bourbon. Huh? What was that, Lola? No, she, Lola wants to know if that's the pickle chaser. Th- the Lola, pickle I chaser? don't know. Lola, no. don't bring up pickle chasers. What's wrong with you? What it's is... pickleback. Pickleback. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> don't even. Um, no. Don't bring it this up. This is a company, Booker Knob, Knob mm-hmm. Creek. And when, okay. he, when he made three, that company used to make only three types of uh, mm-hmm. bo- uh, uh, bourbon. Mm-hmm. Knob Creek, Booker's Bourbon, and Maker's Mark. Mm-hmm. And so when you're, find, when you're making the proofing to determine what the proofing of a bottle is going to be, mm-hmm. they usually add water to it from mm-hmm. the barrel. Okay. So with Booker's. It's taken right from the barrel and put right into the bottle. So okay. the proofing ranges, you know, it's, it's, it just ranges. It's weird. This is a really good drink. 
for people that do drink. And if you're a gun owner, obviously you should drink responsibly. Let me right. say that. Too. Absolutely. Right. So that's your move. By the way, uh, I think E Rock said he likes your shirt. What's up with the shirt? If for everyone who's listening on the podcast, it's an it's the uh, the outline of an AR-15, and uh, it's got some like a Hawaiian pattern inside of the outline, and it says "gang." Yeah. Yeah. So it's what's the up? The AR with that? gang. It's the Boogaloo gang. You All right. <laughs> they, nice. they said they said since I since I've started wearing floral patterns that I'm a white supremacist. I think now, uh, if you uh, <laughs> if you are part of the Boogaloo. Somehow media has made it that you're like, you know, a white supremacist. So okay. Yeah, the ATF will also monitor you. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, well, yeah. I've been in Hawaii a lot, so that's just what that is. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good, you know. That means uh, Magnum P.I. was a boot, was a boot boy before they were boot boys. <laughs> uh, John Crump says, what's up to you? Hey, what's up, John? I forgot. Everybody, they snatched John Crump's uh, Facebook page. Yeah, crazy. Everybody, Everybody go get with his YouTube support, follow. He's doing a lot of good work over there with mm-hmm. GOA. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my that's my guy. I forgot, John. My bad. Blame it on my, my trash memory, not my heart. Yeah, yeah. I think I hope everyone everyone's hearing us good, right? So listen, um what happened with John, I think yesterday, uh Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I, I think maybe somewhere else, they kicked off a lot of people. A lot of people got uh cancelled. Mm-hmm. Um, yesterday, so I know there were some some people. They said they were doing it because they were members of QAnon or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you know. So the the truth is, I'm actually Q. It's actually me. I'm right. joking. This yeah. I, I have absolutely yeah. no. It's absolutely You're doing not. everything <laughs> within your powers to get us <laughs> to get us canceled tonight. I see. So you obviously <laughs> don't want to talk about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is all subliminal. This is all subliminal. Derek Rogers says that shirt. Where can people get that shirt from? This is from a, uh, Savage Tacticians. Savage Tacticians. Yeah. Um, okay. So are they on IG. Yeah, that's that. I think that's their IG page. Savage dot Tacticians, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let me see. I'll look them up. Uh, Savage Tacticians. I'll see if I can find them out there. This. This looks like them, and you're cool with those guys? Um, I just was already buying their shirts. I actually sent them a DM today. Mm-hmm. I said, I, I, on one of my posts some, on my live earlier this morning, some people asked me where the shirt was from. And yeah. I told them, I was like, they should just give me some stuff that I could rock. And they commented and was like, yo, we should. And so I shot them a message. So yeah. hopefully they'll send me some more fly shit. But I was like, yeah. this, they didn't send me this. This hat is from there, them as well. They didn't. I bought this. No one. They, they didn't give it to me. Right, right. Now, don't get me wrong. Any companies or guys that got some some fly shit that you want me to wear, I'll wear it. Send it mm-hmm. to me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah. So just for everyone who wants to know, Savage Tacticians told them you found out about them here on Hank Strange or from Maj. I saw. I think you were wearing that in your live that you did yeah. driving around Philly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I call those drive by. Drive bys, right? On my IGTV list mm-hmm. called drive bys. As I'm driving, getting coffee, just thoughts. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, and then if you guys aren't following Maj on IG, just you know, um, I don't know what's up with you. I know there's people who don't have IG and all that kind of stuff. Where is the best place for them to go? Because there's a couple, there's a couple of Maj to raise on all social media, and I, I'm guessing they're not all you. No, they fake. Somebody, somebody had my name on Parlor before I could even get to Parlor. Yeah, I saw um, that. And and uh, yeah. and he has Maj Ture, so you have the real Maj Ture on Parlor. And then I yeah. saw that guy; he has Maj Ture, but he put in there not Maj Ture. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, it's, and then, it's getting so, to the, yeah. that that means the job of the work that we're doing, we've got to critical mass when people are stealing your name. That's yeah. a good thing. That's a good problem. That's a first world problem. That means we're becoming, as much as um, some portions of media will try to pretend like our work ain't, you know, there or they, they won't give me the blue check or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, this speaks to the popularity of it. So, uh, uh, and mm-hmm. well, like I said years ago, we're going to make gun ownership in the hood popular culture. Mm-hmm. Owning a gun is pop culture now. Mm-hmm. Gut pop, I want pop stars like Katy Perry mm-hmm. and Rihanna. You know, we see we saw Kevin Hart over at Tehran Tactical last week. Right. I told you this is what we was going to do, and this is what has to be to, to be done we the culture shift about safe and responsible cool gun shoot gun shooting mm-hmm. um gun ownership plinking and all of that 
that's all in alignment with our mission. So I like that there's so many people, but if anyone wants to contact the actual me, mm -hmm. um, my Twitter's Maj Toure, M-A-J-T-O-U-R-E. Um, if you want to chop it up on Facebook, my regular Facebook page has like, the, it's reached the limit of friends, but okay. official Black Guns Matter underscore Maj Toure. Follow me there. There's no, follow that page. There's no friend limits and I'll run that page as well. Okay. All right. So official Black Guns Matter with Maj Toure in it. Yeah. So there you um, go. Official Black Guns Matter underscore Maj Toure. Okay. Okay. Underscore. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, Derek Rogers wants to know when you're coming back to uh, Chicago. Uh, after, uh, so I'm going to go over to, I got the Solutionary Summit on September the 12th. I have Dallas this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and I have, sometime in between there, I have to get to Portland. The shit that we're seeing in Portland right now is insane. Mm -hmm. um, and, and local law enforcement, and local government has pretty much abandoned the people. Mm -hmm. So I want to try to get back to Chicago after because Portland is something else right now. And so we're going to hit Portland because people are physically getting attacked. Yeah. Um, Chicago, there's shootings, but a lot of that's gang related, turf related, drug related. Mm -hmm. So I think that if you were that, if you in the street life, you know what come with it. So that takes less of a precedent for me than um, regular people that's just trying to walk through downtown Portland that don't know how to defend themselves. So mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna take this RV over there mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna post up for for a while and give people some training. And then right after Portland, we're gonna try to shoot back to Chicago. Right. I think I saw recently the thing where there was a guy. Um, I guess from what I'm from what I'm seeing, the Black Lives Matter guys there were robbing um, uh, a trans woman, right? And this guy tried to stop that, and then he tried to get away from them, and then they beat him up, and there's video of this guy just kicking him right in the face. You know, that dude's in a coma now. I don't right. know if he's the last I heard. He's in a coma. Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.